Hi, this is Attorney Haji Hidlaw and welcome to my channel, Demeter Pharma. Now guys, if you like my videos and my discussions, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share our videos. Thank you and God bless. Hi, this is Attorney Haji and welcome to Demeter Pharma. Our topic for today is exempting circumstances under Article 12 of the Revised Penal Code. Okay, let's proceed, guys. Let us take, for example, the exempting circumstances. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng exempting circumstances? Technically, a person who acts by virtue of any of the exempting circumstances commits a crime. Okay? So, although by the complete absence of any of the conditions which constitute free will or voluntariness of the act in which no criminal liability will arise. Okay guys, ulitin ko ah. If free will or, or voluntariness is absent, no criminal liability will arise. Okay. So, is this an, an exempting circumstances? Is this an automatic dismissal of the case? No. Okay? Exempting circumstances must be proven in court. Ibig sabihin, the burden of proof must be proved by the defendants to the, to the satisfaction of the court. It must be proved by the accused. So, ibig sabihin, there must be a trial. Okay? So, now guys, we proceed. The first exempting circumstance is an imbecile or an insane person. Unless he acted under a lucid interval. So, paano to guys? When the imbecile or insane person has committed an act which the law defines as a crime, the court shall order his confinement on one of the hospital or asylums established for persons afflicted. He shall not be permitted to live without first the permission of the court. Okay. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Imbecility or insan insanity? Lean sanity, guys. Okay, if you remember Jeremy Lin. Now, pag sinabing offender is an imbecile or offender was insane, pareho ba siya? No. Magkaiba siya. Because an imbecile is one while advanced in age has a mental development comparable to that of children between 2 and 7 years of age. Okay, guys? 2 and 7 years of age. Now, an insane person naman is one who acts with complete deprivation of intelligence or reason or with, without the least discernment or with total deprivation of freedom of the will. Now, my question here, guys, is what if an imbecile commits a crime. Even though nauunawaan niya ang kanyang ginawa, it doesn't mean na liable siya criminally. Why? Because his mental development, his mental age is between 2 and 7 years of age. Take note, ha? 2 and 7 years of age. Question, what if more than ang age niyan. Okay? This is a matter of defense. Ang sinasabi dito, under the rules, it must be the mental development of, of the age, the mental age is between 2 and 7. Meaning, that of a child and an infant, uh, no, not of an infant, but a child. 
a child of tender, tender years. Okay, clear yun ha. Now, how about an insane person? An insane person acts with complete, the word, the key word here is complete deprivation of intelligence. Okay guys, ibig sabihin, wala talaga siyang pakaalam sa kung ginawa niya. And here guys, it must be the insanity is proven it happened during the commission of the offense. Okay? Now, the insanity here that it is that this is mentioned in exempting circumstances is limited only to the mental aberration or disease of the mind and must completely impair the intelligence of the accused. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya sinto-sinto. Ah. Ibig sabihin, there must be complete deprivation of intelligence. Nasiraan talaga ng bait at hindi nagkukunyari lamang. Now, there are two tests for exemption on grounds of insanity. First test is the test of cognition on or whether the accused acted with complete deprivation of intelligence in committing said crime and two, the test of volition or whether the accused acted in total deprivation of freedom of will. So guys, ito yung sinabi ko kanina ha. Insanity at the time of the commission of the crime versus insanity at the time of trial. Take note guys ha, that insanity at time of commission of the crime makes the accused exempted. However, if he is sane, evidence shows that he is sane at the time of the commission of the crime but became insane at the time of trial, the trial will be suspended. Okay guys ha, malinaw yan ha. We proceed. Here are my notes. So, an imbecile is exempt in all cases of criminal liability. Ibig sabihin, there is no lucid interval. Because the mental age, supposed mental age between 2 to 7 years old is permanent. However, the insane is not so exempt if it can be shown that he acted during a lucid interval. Ibig sabihin guys, at the time of the commission of the crime, he is sane. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng lucid interval. Okay? So, however, take note guys that the presumption is always in favor of sanity. Ibig sabihin, ang akusado kahit ang, ang defense niya ay nasiraan siya ng ulo, he's already, he is also presumed sane as he was also presumed to be innocent when uh, presumption of innocence at the time of the commission of the crime. Okay? So, there must be proof na nasiraan talaga siya ng ulo. Okay? So, here... Insanity at the time of the commission of the crime and not at the time of the trial will exempt one from criminal liability. Okay? Malinaw yan guys ha? Next. So, the evidence of insanity must refer to the time preceding the act under prosecution or to the very moment of execution. Now, without such evidence, the accused is presumed to be sane when he committed the crime. The continuance of insanity, which is occasional or intermittent in nature, will not be presumed because the presumption is sanity and not insanity. So guys, insanity at another time must be proved to exist at the time of the commission of the crime. So, yun nga, 
a person is also presumed to be, have committed the crime in one of the lucid intervals. So, sa explanation nyo guys during the exa or examinations, take note of one thing. Ito, yung, ito lang yung sasagutin yung tanong. At the time of the commission of the crime, is the accused sane or insane? If the problem did not say that he is insane or sane, guys, he is presumed to be sane at the time of the commission of the crime. Okay? So, yan yun. Next. What are the instances of insanity? Guys, dementia precox. Dementia is covered by the term because of homicide dalaka attack and is common during the, those form of psychosis. Ito yung dementia or otherwise known as schizophrenia. Okay? Now, kleptomania or presence of abnormal persistent impulse or tendency to steal to be considered is exempting kay na, eh, kailangan may uh, expert witness or competent psychiatrist to determine if the unlawful act is due to the irresistible impulse produced by his mental defect thus thus loss of willpower there is complete loss of intelligence okay pero guys if the mental defect only diminishes the exercise of his willpower it is only mitigating and not exempting okay yung feeble mindedness is not imbecility ito yung pagkatanga yung pagkaengot because the the offender can distinguish right from wrong. An imbecile and an insane to be exempted must not be able to distinguish right from wrong. Tanga lang siya, guys. But, hindi siya exempted. So, ibig sabihin, kulong ka pa din. So, eto, bihira din to. Crimes committed while in a dream. Or yung sleepwalker yung somnambulist so yan talaga pag totoo na if proven na yung naglalakad sa gabi ay um, what's this a sleepwalker or somnambulist he is considered insane and exempted sa kung ano man ang ginawa niya if mapatunayan yan sa korte okay so guys hanggang dito na muna tayo and um, let us uh, watch the next video on this very long uh, discussion on exempting circumstances. Thank you and good evening.